Hello YouTube viewers, here is yet another rain barrel video to watch. If you're like me, you've seen everyone out there. Uh, and here's another one. It's, uh, it's different from the ones I've seen, but the thing is they're all different. They all work. Some better than others. This one has its issues, but uh, the main issue that I dealt with was overflow. I had it configured differently uh, before. Uh, with store-bought ones but uh, the overflow is never adequate if uh, you can see here the flexus spout is connected to the eave um, into a 4x3 reducer and then the uh, 3x2t drop into the first 55 gallon barrel um, when it overflows when it fills up it'll back up through all the way up to the T and then you can see how the water would just continue on and down and out. Uh, the way the water gets to the second barrel is it gets pushed through the Y valve here and just with the hose goes into the exact same Y valve of the second barrel and fills up. There's the vent for the second one because as the water goes in you have to get the air out and uh, the air does go out there but the reason it's uh, down with the other drain is because when in, when we have an overflow situation the level will be high enough water will be coming out of that and so again down to the uh, same <clears throat> same place as the other overflow and away from the house um, the uh, issue this has, some people think it's an issue, would think it's an issue, I don't. Um, first one being it won't get, it won't get full 55 gallons because it's going to not overflow anymore, or fill up any more than this. To me that's not the end of the world. The other issue is uh, you won't be able to get out the liquid that's below this, uh, this level. Um, and not the end of the world to me because at that point it's super light and I could just if I needed that last drop I could just tip the whole barrel up um, this is where the watering can can go on the uh, first part of this Y and the other part of that Y is where I could put a third if I wanted to um, what else can I say about this uh, the barrels other than drilling out the uh, center port part of the uh, bung as it's designed, you see it's threaded, and all you do is you take a drill to it, take out the center point part, and then you can thread anything you want in there, three quarter inch into there. And I use tape for all my threaded connections, and or kitchen and bath uh, sealant uh, caulking. Um, so that's the only modifications to these barrels that I did really. This is a uh, union that's threaded on one end, two inch threaded on one end and plain on the other. So you got your pipe after that. Um, oh, the screen, very important. I didn't talk about the screen. Uh, there it's sandwiched in there on the bottom, laying uh, on the bed kind of of this T is uh, the screen. You can see it sandwiched in there. So anything that goes through here has to go through the screen. Um, so if anything did get stuck in the screen, I think a good flow of rain would uh, wash it out so I don't have to take it apart and keep on uh, washing it or uh, I don't have to take it apart to uh, clean it even though it would be easy because it's not glued. Now here's the part of the flex spout that I cut off at the cut line and uh, fits into that four inch piping just perfectly. Now there's the screen that I, as I said, I just cut a piece of screen to put in the bottom of that tee. Uh, that's the system. Uh, look forward to uh, seeing more systems out there. So if you get one going, uh, let me know about it. I'd like to see it. I'm always uh, changing it. Well, I have been changing it a lot recently. Maybe I'll keep this one for a while though. Uh, of the video, I don't want to go over five minutes and it's just about there. So uh, thanks for watching.